Hi, this is Zaheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn how we can append data when we have uh, different sheet names and different table names. So what exactly we will be doing here is we will be getting data from multiple Excel workbooks in a, in a specific folder and we will combine all the data in different Excel workbooks together and this technique is called appending where we don't have a, a similar or a different kind of pattern available like we did in previous videos of PQ11 there we have uh, either same sheet names or same table names here what the user is doing is that he has a folder and in that particular folder uh, there are four Excel workbooks now if I open all these Excel workbooks in Excel so I can uh, show you that uh, each of the workbook has a sheet name for example in the north file the sheet name is north data and the table name is north when I open another Excel workbook for the east here the name of the sheet is east data and table name is east so primarily there is no uh, a kind of a pattern we can see uh, related to same sheet names or same table names so all the table names are different all the sheet names are different and we need to append the data from multiple excel workbooks right so how we can treat that this kind of a situation in microsoft power bi so let's get start so in power bi i will click on get data then i will click on more Okay, so here we will select folder and click on connect. So define the file path and then click on OK. So it will show you some metadata again, a summarized kind of a data that this folder contains four Excel workbooks, east, north, south, west. And uh, now if I go to combine and if I select the second option, combine and load, what it will does is it will run the process but at the end of some time it will show me an error because all these four excel workbooks contains sheets but they have different names and all these workbooks contains data or table that has also different names so if i go with the second option combine and load it will not work here so we will select uh, the transform data first not also the combine and transform data and not the combine and load we will click on transform data so it will open up a power query editor window where we can see exactly the same metadata right here okay so here we need to do some uh, steps to fetch the data from all those excel workbooks okay so we just need two columns content and the name and we don't need other columns to be present here so I will select all other columns and I will just right click and then I will select remove columns so now I only have two columns that is content and the second is name now the next step is I need to add one custom column so to add that on top you can see add column ribbon where you will find custom column option here okay so you have to click here and it will open up a window so first define the name let's say we call it as data you can write any name if you would like to for your understanding now you have to write an m language code because power query understand the m language mashup language okay m stands for mashup so it's a very powerful uh, language for data transformation um, because we say that power query is an ETL tool but at the same time remember that power query is a case sensitive language so whatever the codes you will write here you need to write in a case sensitive proper format so we start with an equal sign I will write excel dot workbook okay so you can see that IntelliSense is showing me there are two uh, M language codes available excel dot workbook and excel dot current workbook so we we want to fetch from different workbooks so we will use this code excel dot workbook right and you can observe one more thing is that uh, I have write 
Excel E capital and workbook W capital. If you write entire code in small alphabets, even if you are if you follow the pattern same if, if the syntax is basically correct but when you press ok it will not run because power query is a case sensitive kind of a language so you need to write in a similar pattern e will be capital here w will be capital here okay so you have to consider that okay so now once writing the code uh, and this is a kind of an understanding which you can compare when whenever you use Microsoft Excel for example you you use some function you use VLOOKUP function or IF function so in Excel either you write in a small letters uh, the spelling of function the in in the small letters or capital letters it doesn't matter but here in the Microsoft Power BI when you use Power Query you have to write M language code in a case sensitive patterns okay all right so now we need to fetch the content from all those excel workbooks so we will use this parameter or you can say that this available column here that is content so i just double click and it will auto write here and i will close the round bracket now as you can see that on the bottom there is a green check which means that there is no syntax error has been detected this means that my this line of code is being correctly written but if anything which i miss it will show you uh, the guidance that uh, you have not written something correctly but if you are writing the code correctly uh, it's it's being checked uh, as, as in green symbol right and, and now press ok so you got a new column which is a custom column that is data and there is table written in this entire column right now you will see that there is a drop down uh, menu kind of uh, icon so you have to open this and you just need to uncheck this field which is called use original column name as prefix we will just uncheck this and we need all this columns uh, information so i will press ok okay so now all those uh, fields has been fetched and now we need to select the tables because all those four excel workbooks uh, which are presented in this folder contains tables inside them okay so if I go to Power Query again, so in the kind column, you can see there is a column called kind. In the kind column, open the drop down and just select table because we need to fetch uh, the data from the table. Now, for example, if in, in your case, if there is a situation where you don't have tables inside your Excel workbooks, so you might have sheets. Uh, definitely so you will select sheet in that particular case but we have a choice either selecting the table or sheet so I will go with the table right and now what I need to do is now you can see there is one more column which is data dot one it has been renamed now when I open this this particular drop down menu again so it it shows me all those column names which were presented in the excel workbook remember that store id q1 q2 q3 q4 i will press ok so now this from this particular technique we fetch all the data from different excel workbooks the columns which are not uh, necessary to be presented here we, we don't need them you can just delete them like we don't need these three columns so i will select them and remove columns because i got my desired data from here right you can rename the headers just double click and rename the header for example if I rename that as source file once uh, and you can also see that if I open this drop down menu you can see that the data is being coming from four different files that is east north south and west right so this is a kind of a technique you have wrote one m language code that is called excel dot workbook and at any time if you want to see what is going on a back end so on the home tab you can just click on advanced editor where all the steps has been recorded and this is basically called an m language where uh, the user basically uses the front end and but on the back end th this particular tool generates the m language mashup language okay and each of this step is being recorded and also you can undo any step by clicking the cross sign here in the applied step section as well but our purpose has been fulfilled because we have fetch all the data from different 
excel workbooks where we have uh, the there was a limitation that each of the sheet name was different and table name was different so it's easy like super cool just one line of code and your problem has been solved so now you can compare with this kind of a functionalities with excel as well so once you are done you can just click on close and apply and your data will be loaded in the power bi window and then you can start making your dashboards thank you